All right. On this, uh, we're to do our journal en entries related to this. So, the account names that we will have in the mix. When we're doing our journal entry, what we actually spent on our purchases, it's going to be an account payable. But what went into our direct <coughs> materials is at this level right here. The purchases. So it has a component of it that is budgeted uh, because it is the price per pound that was budgeted. So then we create our price variance that if it's an unfavorable variance, then we will debit the variance. So the variance is our direct materials price variance. It, if it is favorable, then we would credit that amount. So with this, that puts those dollars into our materials account. They go into that materials account at the budgeted, because of that $4.50 per pound, and what we actually pay goes into our liability account. So then we cr have created that variance to make it balance. Then over here, our usage and our flexible budget, what goes into our work in process is this with our flexible budget amount. Now, I, I just realized... I need to make debits and credits. I know what to do. So work in process, we will debit that work in process to put our, our materials into there, transfer them out. So then over here is our direct, excuse me, yeah, dir yeah direct materials and I guess, oops. direct materials and it might be more clear if I put the word controls after it and we credit that direct materials control when those materials are put into a requisition and put into our work in process so we've got how this sits now if if our purchases and usage are the same amount, then, then uh, it takes care of itself. Okay. Uh, meaning we still would be doing a debit to our direct materials control when we're recording the price variance. We'll credit our direct materials control when we are doing the efficiency variance. So over here then with our direct labor, our work in process is this guy over here, work in process control. And that will be a debit, sorry about that. And for our wages payable, where we record that liability, and that also can be a control account, uh, it's a credit to that wages payable control. And then we'll have here a debit or a credit. If it's unfavorable, we will debit the direct labor price variance. If it's a favorable, then we would credit the direct labor price variance. And when I get back to my office, I'll add on this video what the journal entry looks like. But over here, again, we have that unfavorable would be direct labor efficiency variance as a debit. And if it's favorable, 
it becomes a credit to that direct labor efficiency variance. So the only piece is to see what do those journal entries actually look like, and we're done. So I'm going to put this on pause, and we're out of time. I'll go back and I'll finish this so 